Hey guys, Jamin here with PC Monkey. I'm bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video. Exciting day yesterday, that's why I'm posting not on my normal Mondays. Uh, Windows 11 was released. Uh, perhaps you remember my video from a few months ago showing you how to get the Insider version uh, of, of Windows 11 so that it, it could be tested. Uh, but this is not that, this is the actual Windows 11 release. It's available. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to download it onto your computer. Uh, so to jump right in, first I'm going to show you a way to not download it, which I'm seeing a lot of people trying, uh, and that's through your updates. So let me show you what not to do right here. So the first thing not to do is go down here and type in updates. It must have said this somewhere because a lot of people are doing it, but then again a lot of people are getting this notice right here um, that Windows 11 is available, but it's kind of misleading because it's kind of leading you to believe that it's not available for you yet. You just have to sit tight and wait till it is. Um, so this is a, a kind of misleading, so I don't re recommend going in here. I will have the link for this um, down below in the description. You're going to go to this website from Microsoft, and it gives you a couple options. Uh, right here, create Windows 11 installation media. You can download that onto a USB, then you can unplug it and go use it on other computers to download Windows 11. Uh, but since this computer that we're on right now is currently working fine, and I want to upgrade this computer to Windows 11, I'm just going to click on this. Windows 11 Installation Assistant. This is the best option for installing Windows 11 on the device you're currently using. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Download. The file downloads right here on the left as usual. I'm going to open it. Do you want to allow it to make changes? Yes, of course. Now I'm just going to go ahead, accept and install, and it starts downloading. I will also, in addition to this link in the description, I will have this link. It's the announcement from Microsoft introducing Windows 11. Uh, scroll down, it gives you some features, some selling points. Uh, if you scroll all the way down, uh, you, you have this option here on the bottom, check for compatibility. Um, you can read the minimum system requirements that your computer needs to have to run Windows 11 effectively here. Uh, and if you want to download the PC Health Check app, you can download that here. It can not only double check your minimum system requirements, but it can also double check the overall health of whether or not your computer uh, downloading Windows 11 at this time is a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and let my computer finish installing Windows 11. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please check out the FAQs in the description. Uh, I could save you some time. I'm going to update those as I see common questions coming in. If you don't see yours there, feel free to leave me a comment. I do try to get to all comments a couple times a day at least. Um, I'm also planning a video for Monday as far as going over some of the aspects of Windows 11, some things that have changed for better or worse. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment here until then with anything you like, anything you don't like, uh, and then we can go over it on, on Monday, see if there's anything we can do. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer videos. Uh, like and share if you like this video and you want others to get their hands on Windows 11. And thank you so much for watching, guys.